We're just about ready. Start has got them in a good line. He says go and they often racing from that 2000 meter marker. Eternal Optimist is one of the first to respond, is right up there with Ignatius. Around them is Vengeance Forever, looking for a better position. Exceeder, likewise, the yellow sleeves and the yellow cap. Still trying to find a position is twice the master. Lucha Verde has got the black and white and only four lanes off the leader. Then we drop back to Fly for Chura. That will travel with four jacks and they six lengths in turn off the speed. Further in running is Summer Night City with Ozark, the bright pink and about eight lengths off the speed. Caramel fudge and at the back end is fashion enigma and that's been switched off with a big wide plays and i would say that's 10 lengths off them so it's a mad scramble up there eventually eternal optimist has won the battle for the lead with twice the master nagging away in second ignatius is racing away in third with vengeance forever who's racing in fourth they in turn are about three or four lengths away to exceed her lucha verde has been switched off by louis and court has only got about five or six to make up with fly futura who's watching every move of lucha verde Verde. Further back is four jacks, and then we go back to Ozark, Caramel Fudge with Summer Night City, and out back over here is Fashion Enigma, and that's about 13, 14 lengths off the leader. They went past the 800. The speed has been good. It's Eternal Optimus, who's made sure the gallop's a good one, with twice the master in second. Ignatius in third. Racing in fourth is Vengeance Forever. They're still about four lengths away to exceed her. Lucha Verde has been hooked out for a run, four jacks, and then comes Summer Night City. Fly for Chura has gone to the inside. They spread right across the track, but still in front is Eternal Optimist with Lucha Verde to the outside, who's starting to make big roads on the outside and coming home hard. Eternal Optimist with on the outside Lucha Verde. Lucha Verde now got the better of them all and goes a length clear. And yes, Lucha Verde, who's burst into the lead, shot for home. Lucha Verde from Summer Night City and the gamble has been landed. Lucha Verde beat Summer Night City, Fly Futura and then came Ignatius. So Lucha Verde continued to catch the eye to the outside. There was so much money around. As you heard from Alistair and the team downstairs, open 3 to 1. You were getting 7 to 10 at the off. And it's won like a 7 to 10 shot. Ears pricked had time to gear down. Summer Night City was doing its best work into second. That's number three. Fly for Chura, number one, was in third. And Ignatius, number four, was in fourth. So Lucha Verde came bursting into the lead at the right time. Obviously, the gallop was a good one, but that didn't really cause too many problems. I think Louis would have been licking his lips once they made sure the gallop was a good one because he's a horse that likes to unwind. He keeps unwinding. And here he comes, responding to every move that Louis asked him to do. He's put his feet in the right place as the son of Gimme the Green Light, and he looks to be progressive. Well done to Brett Crawford. Well done to... ...from eight starts. Great to get this one home for the punters. Like I say, the gamble's been landed here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. Our next live crossing will be race seven at ten past four.